A shiny round island floats on a lake in the Netherlands covered in dozens of shimmering solar panels. This is the ProTev system, one of many new solar farms, but perhaps not the most productive. What is the power of 73 kilowatts compared to the now largest farm in China of 320 megawatts? Well, ProTevs can boast of some other advantages. This is a project where the panels do what no other floating solar power plant can. What makes it unique and how can it change the entire industry of solar power plants on water? Watch this video. Over the past 10 years, the total power of photovoltaic cells in the world has increased 12-fold. And if that doesn't impress you, then consider the following. By 2030, existing capacity must increase six-fold if we are to stay on track to zero emissions. If you still have no idea what this means, we will let you know. Huge solar farms will occupy an area six times larger than now. And if we add here the rapid growth of the world's population and the impending food crisis, then won't it be more logical to use this land for agriculture? That is why the above-mentioned floating solar farms are now booming. They save valuable resources. Japan and Singapore, both of which have problems with the vacant territory, are already following this path. Moreover, such solar farms have another unobvious advantage. Water cools the solar cells, increasing their efficiency as well as energy output. But it turns out that this is not the limit. The efficiency of such systems can be improved. All in all, please welcome the ProTev system. It is no coincidence that it got its name in honor of the ancient Greek god of the sea. It is capable of miracles. The panels of this floating power plant track the movement of the sun across the sky and move after it, collecting the maximum amount of rays. Yes, just like sunflowers and other flowers do. ProTevs is the Solaris Float Company's creation. They built the largest floating power plant in Europe for the time being in Portugal. It consists of 12,000 statically fixed panels and has a capacity of 5 megawatts. Nevertheless, ProTevs located in the Netherlands is much more modest in scale. Now, it is one standard round island, covered with 180 moving solar panels. Compared to its Portuguese sister, the power plant has a small capacity, only 73 kilowatts. However, no one forbids scaling it over time. So, what makes ProTev so exceptional? The fact that in this photovoltaic system, engineers decided to combine two important factors. Compared to classical solutions, they increased the efficiency of a solar power plant by a total of 40%. Firstly, as we have already mentioned before, the ability for solar cells to be placed on the water allows them to be effectively cooled. The bottom line is that solar panels typically perform best at temperatures ranging from 15 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But when they are constantly in the sun, they heat up to 65 degrees Celsius. At that point, their effectiveness is seriously reduced. The proximity of the floating solar panels to the water helps the panels operate more efficiently and increases electricity generation by 15%. Secondly, ProTevs uses an efficient solar tracking system. The island itself can rotate around its axis and each photocell can individually change its angle of inclination, ranging from 0 to 45 degrees. The system uses mechanical, geospatial and light sensors to accurately track the sun's path and follow it. According to the calculations of engineers, this gives an increase in efficiency by another 25%. Impressive, right? But that's not all. For instance, such an object can reduce the level of water evaporation which is important for places with a shortage of fresh water. In parallel, this helps to prevent the growth of blue-green algae, which are toxic to humans but adore a warm environment. What is more, the creators of the project have especially high hopes for collaborations with hydroelectric power plants. Here we have water, an opportunity to stabilize the production of electricity, and the potential to use gravity batteries. We discussed extensively about the latter in some other videos. The ProTev system has great potential. If it shows its effectiveness, then floating solar farms may become even more popular than classic ones. Today, only 1% of all solar panels are on water. 
Do you know what will happen if such power plants covered at least 10% of the area of all the world's artificial water reservoirs? We will get the amount of electricity that is generated by solar power plants now all over the world. Will it succeed? You will definitely get a chance to find out if you subscribe to the channel.